caution. This is an in-development preview only. Today, we show you a flight with the JetBlue Embraer E-190 from Presque Isle to Boston. We are sitting at the ramp setting up the MCDU. Presque Isle does not have a published standard instrument departure, so we can expect radar vectors. In Boston, we will use the RNF Yankee approach for runway 2 to left, a scenic approach along the coastline. However, the problem is that the arrival will not take us directly to the RNF approach, so we need to modify the route ourselves. We can preview the route on the plan page. Clear it up. Switching through the waypoints only works if you are in waypoint centered mode. And here you can see our arrival. There is a nasty turn around lead C intersection that needs to be removed. So let's go ahead and delete the waypoints in question here. And also remove the discontinuity View it a second time. Here we are with a proper connection. We skipped the departure and are already en route to Boston. Even though vertical navigation is not engaged for the autopilot in this build, you can easily use the vertical situation display for a proper descent planning. Here we are approaching the top of descent. In the MCDU, you can also see the calculated time and distance to the top of descent. For descending, we use FPA mode to have a perfect 3.0 degrees descent path along the calculated track. The vertical situation display also shows you altitude constraints. During your descent you're gonna be asked to activate the approach speed in the MCDU that are pre-calculated depending on fixed values or the green dot speed. In this build, also the HSI got extended to a map mode where you can actually see your route. The autopilot is still in lateral navigation mode and follows the lateral track towards Romay 2 2. Certainly not the best weather today, but it's fun to fly. Welcome to Boston. Please remember, this is an in-development version and not yet ready to release. We will keep you updated.